Welcome back, survivors, to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today's episode in our continuing series on the mods and skins available in Ark Survival Ascended, we are going to be going over one mod. That's right, just one this time, guys. We're going to be going over Aaron Longstaff's Western Decor Skin Mod. That is a direct reflection and pull from his Western Decor or Western Structure Mod that he did after the launch of Bob's Tall Tales. Now, this is not meant to replace Bob's Tall Tales. It's meant to add to it and give you a little more to play with in that. So, that being said, Aaron is getting ready to release a new skin for the steampunk decor. So keep an eye out for that one. I'm hoping to get a sneak peek so that I can give you guys a little taste of what's coming on that. If you like this content, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Without further ado, let's get into it. So let's go into our cosmetics tab to be able to see what cosmetics we are working with. This particular skin set has nine skins to go with it. We will go through each and every skin during this video. This one, is, like I said, is a little bit different. And one of the reasons we're only covering this one is because of how large it is. So this one works for storage items. This one works for your signs and storage items. Each one of these works on a lot of the same items, which I have laid out, but with slight variations in them. So we'll go through each one of these individually. Okay, this is the exterior skin. Then you have the front, the furniture and signs skin. You have the Western furniture interior skins. You have the working sound bell skin. You have the working sound uh, gramophone. Then you have a gramophone with working sound again. One plays a song that was made by one of the fans of Aaron Longstaff, which is abs it's an absolutely hilarious song. Uh, then you have your display case skin, your skin for your cash register that goes on your mortars and pestle, and then you have a structure kit skin that goes along with it. We will cover each and every one of these in turn. So first we're going to go over the exterior skin, which is this one right here. As you can see, it goes into our hot bar for ease of use. So let's get into this. If we come over here, we're going to start over here with the wall signs. As you see with the wall signs, you have five different, sorry, six different options with the wall signs. You have a wheel up here. You have a uh, clock that hangs off to the side. Then you have a, a large clock here. You have three different hanging items for your decor one for your uh, for clothes hangers that's what they're called clothes hangers or clothes hooks then we'll move on to the bench on the bench you have six different as well seven different options with the bench you have starting from here the default option one option two option three which is kind of funny Option four, which is a sofa, then you have two more sofas here, one red and one blue. Now, one thing I do want to cover with this particular skin set is just like with the Sandy skin set, you can actually change the scale of the items. Now, it doesn't actually change the dimensions. It's a visual change, not an actual dimension change for the item. Okay? So... The next one is where this skin goes to is your chair. As you see, there's two, four, six different options for the chair. You have option, your default option, option one, option two, option three, option four, and option five for the chair. And again, just like, just like the bench, you can go into the wheel and you can change the skin and rotate it to your liking. Change the skin size and rotate it to your liking. The next one we're going to look at is the skin for the small storage box. As you can see here, you have, this is the default, is this little box here, this little uh, container here, which again, you can go in and change the scale and rotate it. And there's your variations. You have 
Option two, option three, option four, option five, option six, option seven, option eight. The next that we're going to look at is the bed. There's only one option for the bed, and that is this lovely Western style tub. Then if we jump back here, as you see, we have two tables set up. On top of those tables is your mortise and I have mortise and pestles. And here you have uh, two options for milk cans that you can turn your mortise and pestle into. And then two candle options for your mortise, mortise and pestle as well. What we have here are your options for the tables. While you do have a poker table, this is not a working poker table. You cannot play it like you can on the wild card one. Then you have your option two, option three, option four for your tables. Now, here, as you can see, we have a bunch of pianos. Now, the pianos are all options as well. As, sorry, the pianos as well as this bench right here are all skin options for the smithy as well. And just like all the other skins, as stated, you go into there, you can change the rotation and the scale of your skin. What we have behind us here is your, your vaults. You have two options for your vaults. You have a closed vault and an open vault. You also have, these are your signs that are in the ground. Your, these signs right here, I mean, oops. If you put the skin on these signs right here, you get a hitching post, a regular wagon, a circus wagon, a covered wagon, a prison wagon, a uncovered covered wagon, and you have a fuel wagon. Again, those are all from the standing post, the standing signs, post signs like this. And yes, as stated, you can adjust them as well. Then you have your billboard. You, with the billboard, you have one option. You can make it into a, into a wanted sign or poster like that. Then if we come over here for your fan, for your generator, your, your wind turbine rather, you have this option right here for a Western style skin for that. And for your water basin, you can have a Western style water basin. Those are the only options in there. So let me remove these skins and then we will get to the exterior. Okay, so the next skin we're gonna look at in this pack is the sign skin that we have here that has a little wanted sign look to it. We're gonna take a look to at these right behind me. So, Okay, survivors, so as you can see, there are multiple versions of the wall signs and one version of the uh, picket signs. Now, as you can see, I did write thank on one of them uh, to show that they are writable. You can still write on them. You can also still go into the radio wheel and uh, let, let me get on that sign. There we go. Go into the radio reel, wheel and you can adjust the scaling here and the rotation of the sign or skin here. Okay, survivors, so the next skin we're going to look at in this skin pack is called the Interior Skin, uh, Western Furniture Interior Skin Pack. Now, this one does work on almost on all the same furniture pieces as the exterior and even gives you some of the same look and options of it. But there are, I'm gonna, what I'm going to show you here are the key differences between the two. So with this particular skin, the box, what, the, what it does for the small storage box is it gives you a smaller version of, those two, of the two safe variants that we saw earlier. It gives you a glass gun case uh, skin that has a shotgun and two simple pistols in there. It gives you a counter with some goods and a cash register on it. It gives you a vanity-esque skin. 
and it gives you two boxes. Okay, Survivor, so what we have here is the skins that, with this particular skin, goes on the mortars and pestles. It gives us a variety of options, seven options to be exact. We have, in reverse order, we have a clock, a cross, an open Bible, a closed Bible, a... I cannot pronounce it. It's a, basically a record player. You have scales. And you have your cash register. The, uh, the next part is the standing wooden signs. The signposts. Now, this, ma this skin only gives you the hitching post. So, instead of all the other wagons like the first one does... It just gives you a hitching post. Then if we go over to the billboards, it gives us a tanning rack, as you see here. Okay, survivors, so what we're going to be looking at now is the cabin structure skin in this pack. It is the only skin in this pack that goes on standard structures right here. It looks like this. Again, it goes into our hot bar here. So we're going to pop over here, take a look at this. As you can see, it works on your standard items. Your floors, your ceiling tiles, your doorways, your roofs, your sloped. It does not work on the hidden door. does not work on the tall wall. Your staircase, your steps, your ramps. Your triangle ceiling tiles, your quarter ceiling tiles, your quarter, your triangle foundations. It does work on your quarter foundations, but it gives a weird, uh, a different look for them. And it does work on your railings, but does not work on your quarter walls, as you can see. It works on both vertical and horizontal pillars, and it gives two distinctly different looks. For each of them. Now as I've done with all structures. I will see if this is paintable. Give me one moment. For zones. It does not appear to be paintable. And as you can see, it does not work on the doors, which gives an odd visual glitch in the doors. If you take a close look on the tall door and the window. Oh, wait, it does work on the window and the door. Does not work on the tall door and does not work on. So I stand corrected. It works on the window and the double door. However, it does not work on the tall door or the standard door. Let's take another look at that. Maybe it, you just got to get it in the right angle. No. They have an interesting look on the back side, too. Hmm. So that is the structure skin for this particular mod. Okay, Survivor, so this next one is the cash register with working sounds. Uh, it only works on your mortars and pestles, and it gives you two options. The other thing with this particular skin is it does not go into your hot bar like the other skins we've looked at for this mod pack so far. It You have to go through your cosmetics tab to get to it. As a quick review... Go to your cosmetics. There's your cosmetics. Go back to interview. Enter. Go back to inventory. Cosmetics. And then find that lovely cosmetic that you are looking for, which is this one. When you access it, it gives you the sound of a cash register. Okay, Survivor, so for this one, we're going to be looking at the Chibi Display Case skin. Much like the previous skin, it only works 
on one piece, your chibi display cases. Also, it does n it goes into our it does not go into our hot bar. You have to go through your through your cosmetics tab to access this skin. Uh, let's take a look at the variants that we get. So with this, here is your standard chibi display case. You have option one, which makes it looks like a uh, bale of hay. And then you have option two, which makes it look like a toolbox. Okay, survivors. So now we're going to look at the last three skins. All three of these skins work off of just one item each. The first two, the graphophones, gramophones, sorry, work off of the mortise and pestle. And the last one, the bell with working sounds, works off the Omni lights. Keep in mind, all three of these, just like the previous two, do not go into our hot bar. They stay in our cosmetics tab, so you have to access them through here and find through your cosmetics tab to find them. So the first one we're going to look at is this gramophone, that skin that goes to your mortise and pestle. When you access it, it plays this song. And it keeps playing after you access it. This is post-production, Mikey. I noticed that this song was just a little too long, so I decided to speed it up to about two times the speed. I hope you enjoy it because I think it turned out quite funny that way. next one we're going to look at is the second gramophone that plays a song is here. And this song is made by a individual who is part of Aaron's community. And it is kind of a tribute to Aaron and all the work that he's done within the art community in a Western style. I find it absolutely adorable. So let's take a look at it. In the land of art, players from free there's a man named Erwin with a heart so good to see. He helps build the bases, make some strong and grand. Since 2017, he's been landing a hand. Now Aaron's got a sidekick, a friend that he keeps near. Short staffs his name, brings nothing but cheer. Together they venture through thick and through thin, keeping our players safe. Oh, they always win. Oh, and long staff building beautiful bases. With short staff by his side, there ain't no empty spaces. They're not fans of Barry, but that's all right. They're still waiting. Okay, and the final skin we're going to look at is the bell skin, which only works on your omnidirectional lights. It does not work on any other. Uh, when you turn on the light, like so, it makes the bell sound, and it, a light does emit from the rope. And if we turn it off, there's no sound, but when you turn it back on, there's a sound. Simple as that. And one thing I 
wanted to fill you guys in on there are variants on the skin on the structure skins as you see here there is a borderless clear wall skin the stand the skin that you see you've seen over there you have a bamboo skin and then this is actually the default skin for the walls thank you all again for watching a, another episode of our ongoing series on mod and skin reviews if there is a mod that you would like reviewed or you are debating about purchasing or downloading, please let me know. I would be happy to use my system and to show you what you might be getting with that skin or mod that you are looking at purchasing or trying out so that you know what you're getting before you get it. Thank you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.